Hey guys, Harry here and welcome to another haul video. It is that time of the month and I've been saving these little goodies which I've collected so far this month. This haul is basically a collection of the stuff I picked up in London when I was down there and also a couple of few things I've bought throughout this month as well. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing I have is volume 6 of Batum. This is where the story gets really interesting if I remember correct. I've read up to about chapter 70 online and then I've had it on hold for a couple weeks just while the volumes come out in the UK. If I remember correct this is a really really good part of the story because I believe it we get to learn a bit more about these two so first we have that. Next we have something that's very near and dear to my heart at the moment. Uh, last month I picked up the first three volumes and this month I picked up a volume four five and six of the flowers of evil. So that's volume four, volume five, and volume 6. My god, I'm loving this series. I wish I was smart and I bought more than just these six because now I want the next three just because of the way that one ended, if you know what I mean. If uh, any of you guys have read The Flowers of Evil, it is chapter 32, so you'll know what I'm on about at the end of that. It's at the end of the festival where there's the little thing on the stage, that's all I'm gonna say. Next up, uh, I have All You Need Is Kill, which is the light novel for the new film that's coming out with Tom Cruise in, which is... Uh, what the hell's it called? What the hell's the film that he's in? Basically, it's that new film that he's in where everything like goes back in time and such. I've heard the light novel is absolutely amazing, so I was like, I'll pick that up before actually watching the film, because knowing me, I'm probably going to like the book a hell of a lot more than the film. A nice short book, it's only 200 pages, so I'll probably blitz that in a day, and the uh, art cover, uh, the cover is really nice as well, so I look forward to that. Next up, I could not resist, could not resist when I seen this cover in the UK, and it is Battle Royale Remastered. I've never actually read Battle Royale, I've only ever seen the uh, film years ago and I've watched it a couple times, the Japanese subtitled one. When this cover came out I couldn't help but pick it up because it's so damn gorgeous. Whoever did the art is a goddamn genius, it's so so nice and I cannot wait to actually dive into this and actually get the whole story. Next up is something I picked up in London, uh, which if you've seen my London video you've seen I would have read on the train home, and that is Colour of Rage which is an old Japanese story. It's back in the, I think, Edo era, where there's like slaving and such going on, and then this Japanese man and this black man, they both escape their slavers on a ship and then swim to some desolate island shore, and it just happens to be Japan. And it's a really interesting story. It ended a little abruptly, but uh, for what it was, it was really nice. Now, the next thing I picked up when I was in London is by Chance or Providence. Uh, this is Stories by Becky Coolman, I think is how you pronounce her name. I picked this up on a whim just because the art looks really nice. As well as that, I also got a free print with it. So, can't say no to that. The print is absolutely gorgeous. I think this is 62 of 150. Couldn't resist that. <clears throat> it looks like a very interesting story. I've only glanced through it so far. The next thing I picked up was the second volume of East of West, because when I was in London last time, I picked the first volume and I was like, this is out, may as well pick it up. Still haven't read the first one, but at least when I know I actually get into it, I'll be able to read the second one. Same with the first one, pick this up, and I also got a free print signed by uh, the, I think it's the author, the artist and the writer, and this is 56 of 300, so there was quite a few of these ones. But once again, really nice print. And last but not least, if you didn't know, I am a bit of an uh, art enthusiast, and my favourite artist probably of all time, is Alex Pardee, and he has he runs a company with a bunch of other artists, and that's called Zero Friends, and this is their like new book that they've released, so I had to pick up this straight away, and then obviously since I picked it up straight away, you get free goodies, free print of the cover, I absolutely love their limited edition prints, that's typically what I buy these, uh, that's typically when I'll buy stuff from them, when you get an extra print free, as well as that, since I bought it before it was out, it's signed by a whole host of people, who are in the book, so that is absolutely amazing. Um, I definitely recommend you go and check out Zero Friends. Just go and check out their site. They have some really, really cool art on their website. I have a bunch of their prints. There's like some up with my walls and such. In my walls? On my walls. So all in all, guys, that's just my little haul. I say little, it's massive compared to the last couple. So if you guys have read any of these things, if you like any of these things, please let me know in the comments below. If you've picked up anything interesting, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you've picked up this month because it's been a pretty decent month for me for my pickups. So uh, let me know in the comments below, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that glorious stuff and check out my other videos. I shall see you soon. Goodbye.